it's fun that they're um, they're getting to share all this this great talent with us that we probably as Filipino Americans don't normally see on a on a daily basis. So it's fun to see what maybe our parents used to watch and the, the type of movies that they were into and like passed down to us as well. So it's exciting. Us too, we are budding filmmakers now, you know, as long as it comes to entertainment, music, anything acting like that, we want to uh, step our foot into it. So we have finally stepped into the entertainment mu uh, movie world and we're excited to meet everybody and network with everybody. And it's, it's great energy in here. I'm very honored. And uh, I'd like to support any Filipino that succeeds anywhere in the world. I'm always very supportive, singers to actors, actresses. I'm proud of them. So my husband just passed, but you know, this is my first outing. But I feel that I must support them, give them my support always. I think us um, being part of the mainstream here in California, USA, I think it's about time for us to be recognized in the world. Because very talented ang mga Pilipino, in my own humble opinion. And I think uh, moving forward, I could see much more bigger things happening, exciting for our culture. So I'm so, so proud of the artists of this movie and all of us here to be part of this wonderful event. Just being here is amazing. and. All this, the red carpet, um, the direct Directors Guild of America, the location, the people, the hospitality, um, I'm just so overwhelmed. Just being in this building, this is a, it's a first, of course, uh, and then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in looking at the pictures behind me, all the photos of all the directors and, and the films that they have created, um, and, and to have the film uh, featured in this in this inaugural presentation of the Manila International Film Festival, it's just really honoring and and deeply humbling. It kind of broadens your understanding of uh, what you want to do and where you want to take your career. You just realize that it doesn't stop from the Philippines. It doesn't stop from your home. You know, there's always a stage outside. And um, in a way, I'm also very, very honored that I get to not only bring the film, but also bring the name of the country. Yeah. I have never imagined that I will be here in my entire life. So I'm so honored. I am so privileged. I am so humbled to be here and I'd like to thank all the organizers of the Manila International Film Festival for the opportunity that they gave us and of course they gave the whole Philippine cinema and the Filipino community here in America. For us being the second largest Asian American community in the U.S. and being the least represented in the media, it's time for us to have our own film festival here. Bring stuff from here, bring stuff from the Philippines, bring the stars here and um, show the world what we got and our stories and part, we're, we're part of the fabric of America so it's about time. I felt compelled to come out and support um, Filipino cinema because it's where my family's from, it's where my dad was born and raised and I've worked there myself a couple of times and uh, hi to Miss Isa Casado, my friend, movie star in the Philippines. Uh, yeah, yeah, so um, I want to go back there and bring my daughter back there too. For it to be here and uh, advancing representation and and uh, be of, of the Filipinos and be more you know uh, present in, in, our, in our community in the in the movie entertainment community it's, it's a big deal I'm a member of the DJ for the next for the last three years and um, I know what it's like to be welcomed by this union and uh, a, a Hollywood that is now welcoming our stories. It's the right time and the right place for the Metro Manila Film Festival to be here in America because we need to grow our audience and show them that our, um, our people, are. we want to see our films, especially from the 100 years of cinema that we have. 